building a first world nation. For more info, log on to www.pnm.org.tt. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. How is the preparation for the local government elections treating you so far? A lot of work, but um, election campaigns are always very enjoyable for me, and um, campaigns are going well. So, what is your take on the timing of this election by the present government? Uh, this is a continuation of the general election in more ways than one. We had a very extensive um, general election campaign and um, this local election coming a few weeks after is very much a continuation of the government uh, picked this timing so as to get the advantage um, that they, they enjoyed in the general election. While the PNM was in office there was a lot of talk about local government reform. What would have what would that have brought to the people of Trinidad and Tobago? Well, it would have brought a greater level of responsibility being devolved on local on the people in the local districts so as to allow them to be more involved in providing themselves with services of a higher quality and a wider range. It was the PLM's intention to elevate local government in Trinidad to a higher level, um, very much like it exists in Tobago today. Okay. A lot of free world local governments are allowed to raise their, ta their own taxes. For example, the property tax has been so popular in the last election campaign. Was this one of the PLM's ambitions for local government in Trinidad and Tobago? I am not sure that the current legislation um, would have allowed blanket raising of taxes. But what was certainly within the ambit of the reform was the possibility of going towards the Tobago model, where the local authorities could raise and keep um, some taxes. For example, there are certain kinds of taxes that central government would want to retain, like the LNG plant in Point Fortin. Um, I guess that would not have been for the Point Fortin Corporation. But other taxes like land and building taxes and service taxes, certainly those are those revenue streams could go to local government to give them um, greater flexibility in funding. And that was all part of the intention of the overall reform program. The, the government of the day seems to think that by threatening and scaring people they can win their election. What do you think of this tactic? Well, it's an election campaign strategy on their part. It might work with some people. It certainly won't work with other people. Um, people, at the end of the day, will vote in defense of their interests. And some people would respond to it. But certainly there are attempts to scare people into um, voting a certain way. But election campaigns always tend to portray the advocates as the better option. It is how convincing the arguments are that will eventually um, see what happens, affect the outcome. Any final message to the electorate? Well, the first question I'd like to pass to the electorate is to take the election seriously. Local government is important. So local government is important, so take these elections seriously and vote to um, bring about the placing in office people who are committed to service and people who have a track record of um, stability in public service and the PNM has a great track record in that. We have been in, in local government service for decades and we've put a whole battery of high quality candidates out there and I would like people to come out and look at the candidates, compare our candidates with other candidates and um, if that is done, I have every confidence that the PNM's candidates will do very well on the basis of the, the quality of the offerings of the PNM and our commitment to service. Thank you. Talk from the present government that a vote for the PNM and local government would be a waste of time because they cannot help you because they're in opposition. How do you respond to that statement? Well, 
it is surprising that that is coming from elements of this government because they should be the last one to make a statement like that. They have controlled corporations under the PNM for a number of years. And if what they're saying, if they believe what they're saying, then what they're in effect saying that the Chagonas Borough Corporation, which they've always controlled, Kuva, Tamaki, Talbaro, Pinal, Dibe, which they've always controlled under PNM central government, that they were wasting time or they were obstructionists. That is not so at all. As a matter of fact, the Tulapuna Piago um, Corporation won best corporation under a UNC administration. So it is possible to function properly and do very well at local government if you do not belong to this party that's in central government. Local government work is quite separate and it all depends on what is happening there on the part of people who are in local government. It's not dependent on who is in central government um, to, to, to determine what the outcome is going to be at local government level. That is simply an argument to try and win people over on their side to say that if we don't get all, we can't do anything. 